Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you that how to upgrade iOS on a Cisco 3850 series switch. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to download the updated iOS image from Cisco site. Uh, all right. So let me show you. Go to internet and browse software cisco.download.com. All right. But you may have the credentials too so that you can access the site and you can download the images. All right. Then go to uh, sorry, go to switches. 3850 series switches and for example, I'm having 48 port switch. So I'm downloading this file iOS XE software. For example, 60. All right. Or mm, you can download this golden image as well. So click on this. It uh, it will ask you to for the login credentials. All right, but I've already downloaded this file. Where is this cat 3k? All right now. My switch is already having an iOS file. So what I'm doing here. This is my 3850 switch. And my PC is acting as a TFTP server. So this is my PC who is acting as a TFTP server. All right. So let me show you this is the TFTP server application and I've, I've uploaded this file to this uh, TFTP server. All right. Now, now you have to go to the switch and this switch must have an IP address. So IP interface brief exclude unassigned. IP address of this switch is 192.168.2.13 and IP address of my desktop is uh, let me check 2.11. All right, so copy TFTP to flash enter address or name of remote host so 192.168.2.11 source file name go to this file name rename control a control c destination file name yes so it is trying to access the TFTP server and now you can see the file downloading in progress all right so it will take some time let's wait you can see that image has been uploaded uh, to the switch uh, you can check it let show flash the new file is here right this file so now let me show you that this switch is running uh, version this version 3.58 all right now the last uh, command is go to the configuration mode boot system flash and the file name so uh, show flash yeah this is the file name all right and then reload the switch System configuration has been modified, saved, yes. And now you guys, uh, you guys will see that the switch will be having the newer version of iOS installed automatically. Proceed with the reload, yeah, confirm it. The remote side session is closed because the switch will restart, right? Now you can see that show version. iOS version software is 16.12.08. Right. So the iOS upgradation of Cisco 3850 switch is done.